Mexicano dancing. In Mexico. I'm actually meant to go get something to eat because I'm starving. The last restaurant that ate it here was absolutely amazing. I want to try something else now. Get some ice cream. Market, okay. That's a nice. Don't know about what's in them, but okay. It's probably like the Mayan calendar. I had a scroll on the Mayan calendar. I bought somewhere in Mexico. Let's go to the flea market. The sun is doing its thing. I'm not gonna lie, it is doing its thing. And me and the sun without the hat, that's not how we roll. Maybe we should go to that supermarket. Hmm. That's what's ahead. More hotels. Let's just go back and get something to eat. I think I'm gonna go to that quiet restaurant and see if they have tacos. Wait a minute, did I even introduce this vlog? How rude. Hi everybody, hi everybody. Welcome to my channel. If you don't already know, my name is Nandika, the inconsistent pun. If you are new here, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. And yeah, leave some comments and like my videos. Uh, sorry about the lighting. Much better. If you are a regular subscriber, thank you so much always for your support. You are greatly appreciated, my love. All right, my darlings. So let's head back and find a restaurant to eat. Because we're starving. Starving Marvin. You know what, I might go to No Name Bar on the beach. I'm gonna go to the other restaurant. Let me go to yeah, no member. Okay, so there's another restaurant next to no name bar. If we don't eat there, we're gonna eat. Yeah, at that restaurant. And then I'm gonna go to the other supermarket, not the other one. It's dark lighting, yes, I know. I'm sorry. Catch you later. 
there are so many this guy. So these guys here say they, they are close, the ones that were tying up the gate. And then I met this other guy. He was also asking the same thing, but he obviously speaks Spanish. He says they usually open it. At 2 o'clock? Yeah. Also, so they should be opening shortly? Yeah, minutes, yeah. Oh, okay. Is it a good restaurant? It's pretty good. Italian. Oh, Italian. Oh. oh, the view is good. Yeah, the view is really, really nice. And the food is okay. Oh, the food is okay. The view is good. Yeah, the, the, well, uh, by mistake, it's really good. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Never make decisions when you are hungry, okay? Never go shopping when you are hungry. That's why they say these things. But you don't think properly. Two o'clock now, this place has to be opened. Stubborn. Look at the nice room. Oh, wow. Okay, nice view. Yes, I'll take that one. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. This is not. So, this must set up. The wind is windy. This is actually quite a nice place. It's an Italian restaurant, like I said. And then they even got this wood and they said it's for my purse. Now, this would have been a lot different if, it, if I was in Argentina. My purse would have been on my lap, secured. Secured, very, very, very secured on my lap if it was Argentina. Okay, this is some serious Italian, like this. It's not much. No, I don't know. I really want to take out. But I love my view. What do I do? As I have to tie my hair, it was getting wild. Look at my skin in the heat. Literally, the way my skin reacts to heat, this is ridiculous. Look at me. I already have a heat rash. Shame, son. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try the fish of the day. Catch of the day. Um, like, really, I've never in my wildest dreams dreamed about this. So it's like, like, I kind of understand when they say that you are living your ancestors' dreams. Because there's no way I drink this. It's just no way. So it has to be somebody from a long time that's dreamt this. And I'm living it. Like I am living it. How can I not say that I'm out? This is just a quote to like, wow. I'm out. Nangani. So, like, wow. They dreamt it and I'm living it. So, power of the tongue this is just amazing so really the power of the tongue creates life and death life and death is in the power of the tongue so speak positive say positive things because they not they not only affect you now but they are going to affect your generations to come which is amazing and generations to come oh is that my food oh is that bread <laughs> Mm. Oh, garlic bread. Oh, it looks very nice. Did I just drink a strong plastic on? Like, yeah, guys, honestly, support the time and what you say now will affect generations to come. So, you don't want to hinder the next generation your children or your children's children and their children you don't want to hinder them because it affects them what you say and what you do now affects generations to come speak positive speak life success but dream big dream more than you can possibly dream because they are going to be the ones living those dreams and mm, I don't want them to 
mountains and no, you don't want them to go through life thinking, oh, Gunzima, oh, this is so heavy, it's so hard. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, I am so grateful for my ancestors for dreaming it, for speaking positive, for speaking life into existence. Because I'm living it. I am that life. I'm living their dreams and, and everything else. I'm living it. All the positive energy they gave out, it's, it's, it's me, I'm living it. And I don't want to cut it, like I want, I want to pass it on to the next generation. So how can I not be positive if I want the next generation, my children, their children, their children after that, you know? It's what Zona's Abazali, Zibu's of the generation is in that term, the generation is in, you know, the sins of our, of our fathers are us in the third and the fourth generations. Careful. Really be mindful, be conscious of what you do and say. These are the things that I literally just do and, and say to myself when I have my quiet moments. I just have these moments and I just like and I just feel the energy, you know, just oh my garlic bread.
not where I want to be. Sorry. Guys, this is one of my favorite chocolates. Like, honestly. Oops. I love Raffaello's. I love Raffaello. I'm going to see Two days later. Hey everybody. It's been a while, right? If you're new here, my name is Nandika. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. I do hope you like this channel and you subscribe. And yeah, make sure you share this video and leave any comments Oof. and likes. The wind is windy. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey, welcome back, my darling. It is so good to have you on. So thank you for your support. Sorry for the background noises. Okay, so where are we in Cozumel, Mexico? I'm going to see a dentist. That's what I need. I am in desperate need of a dentist because I need a filling on my tooth. It is a bit cloudy today. It's not cold though, it's just windy and cloudy. But it is a very nice weather. Um, yeah, let's go. Okay guys, I am at a Merrimed hospital where I'm going to do my filling and I arrived here early. I arrived about 25 minutes ago. My appointment is for 12. It's now 11.18. I'm standing outside because the AC is on full blast. It's seriously cold inside there. I'm going to brave it out now because I've been standing outside for a while. So I'm going to go in. Okay. just hit the door, the glass door, and it fell. So they've gone inside to see if they can help it. They're going, oh, it literally hit it very hard. And it just fell. Must have hurt its neck. A few hours later. An update. Okay, so this has been started sweating like this around probably um, let him know around 1 30. Sorry, Kirsty took off my week. 1 30, 1 45, and the time is now. Oh, wow. 
it's um, 5.43, so probably like four hours. My face has been like this. So, as you know, I went in for a, um, Fitting, tooth fitting, and then it did an x ray. And it was like, oh, okay, it showed me it's like a cavity is quite a lot. So, if it does a filling, I'm gonna be in pain in a week because the nerve is affected. What he suggests is a root canal and then a filling and that's gonna take care of it i was like okay cool um asked him how long it was gonna take he was like no um an hour and 30 minutes an hour or well, hour and 20 minutes 30 minutes maximum two hours it won't take longer than two hours i'm like okay cool oh gosh i'm in so much pain mm. Anyway, so I started working on my tools and stuff and started working, working. Probably like an hour and 40 minutes or something. Obviously, I did do the injection to numb, but I felt nothing. And an hour and 40 minutes, I think, around that time. I started feeling pressure like on the side like there was really so much pressure I could just feel so much pressure and then I was like I tapped him and he's like are you okay I was like no there's no pressure he couldn't obviously couldn't see it because I had that blue stuff around I'll show you the picture I like literally was so uncomfortable because I was lying on my back like that my eye was shut literally my eye was shut and I was like and, and he still didn't get it I literally had to ask him to remove so he removed it and then that's when you saw that um I was swollen anyway um and then he had to stop he was like well it didn't finish it. I'll have to finish it next time because he needs the swelling to go down. I must have reacted to the medication he was using to numb um, the pain or something. It's like I just I had an, a reaction. He said it would go down in a couple of hours. Nothing. It hasn't even attempted to go down. And literally, this is. I still feel so much pain, so much pressure. Even the, the medication has all not worn off, you know, the numbing medication, painful. And I just had like a yogurt and uh, a banana, which I had to smash, mash it up in my yogurt because I cannot chew. Let's see if I cannot even. Open my mouth aloud. I'll, I'll open my mouth wide. I took some ibuprofen and I prescribed some antihistamine for the allergy reaction. Wow. This is crazy. Hmm. Wow, this is crazy. It's, it's insane. Like I've never had anything like this before. I've had a root canal done before. Um, I never, never had anything like this, so I'm just gonna have to eat soup for the night. I'm starving, I only had two eggs, a slice and a half of pineapple because I didn't want to eat too much this morning. I should have eaten something because now. I can't eat much and I'm starving. But anyway, I took some painkillers. I'm going to have some soup. 
and take um, another medication they gave me and attempt to sleep. I paid $500 for this unfinished swollen business. Unbelievable. Literally the nerve. 491 let me see if I got my receipt oh that's so weird sorry I just did something and it just feels so weird because I can feel fluid oh that's so freaky I literally feel the fluid bubbles like small bubbles oh you know I know what I'm gonna get the next day hey everybody this is me the next day The swelling in my eye is so much better. Like literally so much better. Um, however, now it feels like I have literally bubbles, like like foam. Actually, the best way to describe it is foam. It feels like foam. Foam. You know when you touch foam. It has that those little squishy bubbles. That's exactly what it feels like here. Around here, around there, and it's gone down to my clavicle. Feels like foam. So tomorrow hopefully I'll be going for MRI or scan to check if they actually hit a nerve, which is what the doctor I went to, the GP, um she says um I probably hit the the dentist hit a nerve like one of the sinus nerves so now it's reacting so tomorrow i'm going for an mri or scan if i can get an appointment hopefully i can get an appointment so i'm also taking antibiotics now so amazing yeah that's where we at. The next day. Hey everybody. So, can you see? You can smile with the less pain. You can even see the the line when I smile. Mhm. Mm day three. Um, the swelling has really subsided around the eye which is good it's still a little bit swollen but it has significantly subsided and um, now the swelling is kind of like dropped and going down and obviously you can still feel the foam effect over here and around my neck area literally when I press it's like that foam kind of feeling mm. see it's going down But you can especially feel the foam right here around the um the ear around there don't even have to press it hard and it's just going for me for me for me all around down here that's where we at the pain is so much better which is good and it's good I'm sure chewing will be a lot better as well today. I haven't eaten anything, so we're going to test that out. Peace. That's your update for today. Mm. You can see that now when I smile. Mm. All good. <laughs>